The Truth, a poem by Braley Ursoni. The American Dream, our soldiers falling to the ground. And for what? The American Dream, all what lies we are told. The opportunities sinking to the sand, their hopes and dreams plummeting into the Black Sea. We have people fighting for us every day, risking their lives, and yet we swim in the ocean as if it is clear blue. But change is still to come. The discussion of achieving hopes and dreams failing to persist, waiting for the right path to come their way, waiting for the great life they were promised, wishing for success. If only the American dream were true, to put an end to the aching injustice standing tall, to give more worth to our soldiers and veterans. America's Motivation, a poem by Jaden Cabrera. America's motivation, graduate they say. Do something of yourself. What, where, how. Opportunity knocks, open the door. Free education, use it or lose it. Free health, use it or lose it. New generation versus old generation. In my days, everything took time. You planted a seed and waited for it to grow. Now you order online and takes no time. America the Great, Great America, History makes or breaks you. Its people are the reason for the greatness. We bleed red, white, and blue. Does it bleed for us? Does it bleed for those who return broken or torn? Done for all of us. To sleep another restful night. But on we go, using and abusing, while we carry the flag in honor greatness of America's motivation. We Don't Know, a poem by Parker Godfrey. Every day, new people are enrolling in the military of the country they know and love. Every day, people are embarking on the back-breaking, bone-crushing journey of protecting this country. But we don't know. We don't know. People in the military serve for years and years, making this country what it is today, and they get the cold shoulder in return. We don't know the hardships one may go through to ensure the safety of our people. We don't know the nightmares veterans have at night because of traumatic experiences they have in the war. They give and give and give to us, but we never give back. We always see homeless veterans on the side of the street just looking for someone to show a semblance of empathy. When we look down at them, it's like the final nail in the coffin. We don't know. We don't know. My grandpa was in the military, and he felt the pain of training and forming into the perfect soldier. He knows the devastating things that one may go through. He knows the hardships of getting back on your feet after you come back from a five-year journey overseas. He knows. He knows. If we all show one veteran a day that we care, if we all show one veteran a day our gratitude, it could be the turning point in thousands of people's lives. We can lift thousands of people on their feet by just saying thank you for your service. All we have to do is try. What is Worth Fighting For by Gabriela Sosa. Freedom is a strong word. Freedom is the power to feel and do what you want, and nothing should hold you back. People fight for our freedom. Martin Luther King was one, but we aren't done. We want to show our freedom, except there is something holding us back. You may ask, what is that? We are afraid because of the raid. We don't want to be captured. This has to do with history. The past is defining us. We need to stand up for what is right, so we can seize the night. We need to stand together as one. We need to stand so tall we hit the stars because this world is ours. This is why people are out there fighting for us. Free and united, we can do this. We need to love one another and be whole again. We need to take a breath and count to 10. This country right now is so divided, why? What is the reason we, that we bring each other down? Tell people that they are less than. Some people want to be separated, but we as this next generation can bring everyone together. We can fight this fight as a whole to get the very important goal. As Americans, we say everyone is free. But let's be honest, will they ever be? That is why we are fighting, and I will keep on writing to get that American dream so we can fight this as a team. A poem by Chase Vetter. In New York, a man lives in an old crumbling building. He is sitting in a recliner, beer bottle in a hand, drinking the pain away but the pain won't ever go away. Waiting for the day he doesn't wake up again, waiting for the day he won't feel the pain. For what? What does he gain in return? What does he gain for fighting for the freedom of the country? Other than a 10% discount at the grocery store?